Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you, first of all, for bearing with me during this video. It's going to be very raw, very unedited. I am like a hot mess today because I have been really busy in my studio the last couple of weeks getting ready for a major trip coming up, which I hope I will be able to share and spread some light on when I get back. So some exciting things going on here. But uh, I do look professional with my little mic, don't I, down here? So I guess that's something. Um, this video today is going to be about answering your most asked question of how I do my time-lapse videos for my Facebook page and my Instagram account. So I'm gonna share that with you today. And when you see my setup, you are going to say, is that all? There isn't more than this? No, it is super, super easy, almost embarrassingly so, because I wish it was more magical, but it isn't. But you're going to like that because it's something that you will be able to do. Hopefully, you will have this equipment already. Half of you will, probably, so you'll be able to do it immediately without even having to purchase anything. For the rest of you, hopefully it will give you some ideas of how to create your own time-lapse videos. Um, so what I'm going to do is just turn the camera around. I'm going to show you my workspace and I am going to show you how I do my videos. Really quick before I do, I want to share with you that after I started creating these videos for my Facebook page and my Instagram account, my customer reach went up considerably, like by 60%. People like to engage with videos more so than just photos these days, you guys. They want to see what it is you're doing. They want to see the process. They want to see it from beginning to end. They want to see your paintings taking shape, you know, just going from nothing to something magical. And you can do it without hardly any work at all. So enough chit chat for me. Let me turn the camera around and I'm going to show you my workspace and we'll get right to it. Okay, everybody, this is my workspace. This is where I do all of my paintings. It's quite messy right now, so I apologize for that, but this is what it looks like 90% of the time. I am ashamed to say. Anyway, I have a painting already on uh, my desk and I am going to attempt to do this. As I said before, I am using my iPad, so forgive me for the, uh, it's not gonna be very stable because I'm gonna try and do this without flipping my iPad onto the floor. So here is my painting of Koala. I have a desk light right here that I use for extra light and it's a basic desk light. I've had it for several years. I don't remember where I got it from, but it emits natural lighting. So there's no yellow cast to it, which is always helpful. It uh, helps me to, uh, to see the natural colors that I am adding uh, without any weird casting. Um, so it's just a natural bright white light. So I have that. And then this is one of the tools that I use that I can't do without as I'm making my videos. It's my Ot light right here. This is my Ot light and it's got paint on it. It is, I've had it for many years, but it has a gooseneck to it. And this Ot light is wonderful because it, it no matter how I adjust it, it will stay. A lot of gooseneck lamps, you'll adjust the neck and then it will droop, it won't stay put. Wherever you put this thing is where it's going to stay. And I keep it so that it is perpendicular to my desk. So the light shines directly down on it so that the top surface is completely flat. And here it is, this is the magic behind the scenes of how I create my videos. It's what I have sitting on top. It's my iPhone. This is all I use, you guys. This is it. So I'm just gonna take it off of here and I'm going to turn it on. And I am in my camera mode. 
I'm on photo right now. I am just going to scroll over to time lapse. I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm going to set it right on top of my ot light and I'm going to position it until my koala is right where it's supposed to be. And you know, I can move my koala up and down. If I need to have this, like if I have a larger painting and it just is taking up more screen space, then all I have to do is just raise my ot light up, raise that gooseneck up, and then make sure that, that this part right here is flat or however you want it to look. I'm assuming that you want to be able to just view everything from top down so that it's easy to see. And then I just press the red button right there and let it go while I work. That's all I do, you guys. <laughs> That's it. Nothing real fancy. Um, I've tried the, the Canon cameras and the big umbrella lights and all that stuff. That just stuff just got in my way. So I got really mad one day and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna use my phone. And I started doing these time lapses when I had my iPhone 6. I know that has the time lapse feature. I don't know if any, any iPhone camera before 6 has the time lapse feature. You're gonna have to check and see if you have an older iPhone. The iPhone that I have is a 10. So I have the latest iPhone, but I know that you can use it if your iPhone is as old as a six. If you have a phone, a smartphone that is not an Apple phone, check and see if your phone has the time-lapse feature. I don't know anything about any other phones because I've only had an Apple phone. Um, but you're welcome to check out and see if, <clears throat> if your smartphone has that feature. If it does, there's no reason why that you can't use uh, all of this, all of this equipment to get your own professional looking <laughs> videos. So you, you guys, that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, I kind of wish there was something more magical to show you, but there isn't. Um, and uh, if you want to see just how well uh, this setup works, go to my Facebook page and watch my videos or go to my Instagram account uh, at Ellen Brenneman Studio, all one word. I'll link to it below and watch some of the time lapse videos there. Of course, on Facebook, I'm at Ellen Brenneman Studio. You can see my videos there and you can see that they look really, really good. So. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so so you can see more of these types of videos. And I will see you guys next time. So bye.